Hello, good day viewers. Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Sosa Sopala, and um, in today's video, I'll be taking you through the process of perfume making. Um, it's going to be a wonderful experience, I promise. I promise it's going to be a wonderful experience. You know, a lot of persons always say, um, How can I make perfume? How do they make it? And all that. So, that's the essence of this video that you can actually make perfumes at the comfort of your home. To your taste, you don't really need to buy, you just for your to your taste and also for commercial purpose. For those of you that would like to go into the business of perfume making, a lot of persons are making money, making money from just this process of making perfume. So you can you too can become a CEO, become your own boss, make your own perfume, make sales, and apart from that, smell nice as well. Make your own perfume to your taste. That's let's that's, that's very important to your taste. You know what you are using, you know what you need, and that's just it. So in today's um, video, I'm taking through that process, and at the end of the day, I am sure that you'll be happy and you'll be glad you did. So please stay tuned. Let's uh, get down to business. But I need you to get your writing materials, please. Um, you need your jotter, your pen, whatever it is that you can um, take notes with, okay, so I can um, have uh, a quality lecture. All right, now. Basically, perfume uh, production is, or perfume as it were, is actually a product made of two main chemicals. Two main chemicals, yes, as simple as it sounds. Two main chemicals, just two. Two. And uh, what's that? The fragrance and methanol or ethanol. Yes, that's all. That's all we need in making a perfume. Now, the proportion, the um, choice of combination or whatever it is of the fragrance depends on you and so today I'm going to take you through a process of um, some of the choices I think we can or combinations that we can actually use okay so like I said get your writing materials ready get different uh, fragrances from the market okay just get to a shop um, in your area and get any of the fragrances of your choice we have for example lemon yeah, it's a very good fragrance in the market. We have Passion. This is Passion, is another fragrance in the market. And today we're also going to be making use of um, Cool River. Cool River and Orange. Yes, there are lots more, lots more. Many other fragrances that we have in the market. We have One Man Show, we have 212. There is Assurance, there is Baco, there's Eternal, and so many others. So whatever uh, fragrance you like, you go with it. It's your choice, actually. And that's, that's the beauty of homemade perfume. You have the, uh, uh, um, the privilege of choosing what you want, what works for your skin, what works for your system. Just you choose, you make your own choice, and that's the beauty of it, okay? And um, also, we have the methanol. Like I said, you can either use methanol or ethanol. Now the difference is that methanol lasts longer. Okay, so today we are going to be using methanol. Methanol lasts longer. Uh, there is a bit harsh, so it depends on what uh, you like. Some persons like it mild. Methanol is milder, okay? Uh, whereas methanol is harsh, but lasts longer. Lasts longer, so it depends on what you want. So but for today, for the purpose of this lecture, for the purpose of this training, we are going to be using methanol, okay? For today, I'll be making a Cool River, a mixture of Cool River and Passion. Cool River and Passion. Now, the proportion is dependent on you. How you want to mix it, the proportion is dependent on you. So, once you get a, a signature taste that you desire, that you like, you can go with it. Okay, so um, let's begin by taking the first one, Cool River. I'll just take a few drops. Let's check the drops of this is Cool River. That's one. That's two. So two drops. That's, a, that's what I'm using now. Two drops of Cool River. And then let's try one drop of Passion and see. That's one. Okay, let's make it two. Okay, so we have two drops of passion and two drops of cool river. So I'll miss or shake very well and then perceive. 
now if you get a satisfying aroma you can you can stop and use make use of it if it's not satisfying enough you continue with whatever proportion you want to use okay so um i think this is okay but let's see let's try just one more drop of passion that is two ratio three okay all right so i'll shake vigorously and oh okay i think i like this so let's use two ratio three that is um two drops of cool river and three drops of passion so what that means is that for every two measurement whatever it is that you're using for measurement could be a bottle as big as this big as this but whatever it is that you want to use just take note whatever you're using one measurement of this or two measurements of this actually and then you take three for passion that's what we're using now so for today i'm going to be um, taking one that's two ratio three actually two of cool river and three for passion all right so let's go with that all right so I'm going to be making use of these for measuring each of the fragrance that I want to use. Now, I'm using this because um, I want to make it as simple as possible for anybody, anywhere. So you don't have to say, eh, I don't have uh, measuring cylinders, whatever it is. But whatever it is that you are making use of, take note so that the, me the same measurement you are using is what you are always going to be using in case someone sees it and likes your perfume you can always make that same one okay so you must have a signature um, taste all right so that's why i'm using this so you can use any other measuring scale if you have the means but for some persons that may not have any of those means you can use anything that's why i'm going for the simplest the simplest available uh, one now all right so i'm going to be using this so let's take the cool river like i said two to three two of cool river for every two uh, measurement I use for cool river, I'm going to use three for passion, all right, to get the signature taste that I want. So let's go with um, cool river. I'll just fill this to the brain. Please check well. Okay, now, all right, just be careful. Okay, that's one. That is the second one. So just be careful so that it doesn't fall off. This is the second one. Like I said, at the comfort of your home, you see, you don't have to own a company, have a big building before you become your own boss. Just at the comfort of your home, your leisure time, you make these things and for your own use and for family as well. For sale, okay, for commercial purposes. Now, this is two of this container, this cover for Cool River. So, I'm going to take three for Passion. So, let's do that. Like I said, for Passion. Okay, this is one. For passion. Alright, one. and then lastly the third one okay here we go all right okay so you close and shake variously Now you're going to leave this for at least about 30 minutes or thereabouts, okay, so that it will 
um, actually mix properly. Okay, you leave that for about 30 minutes or thereabouts, as the case may be. So, like to mix properly. All right. All right. Cut. So now we have the mixture of uh, curry and passion. Like I said, two recipes. Please take note of this. You have to write it down. Whatever it is that you are making, whatever mixture you have used, write it down so that you don't forget easily. A lot of times people get excited with what they've made, but uh, when someone else asks them, I like what you're wearing, I like this perfume you're wearing, they just find it difficult to remake. So if you want to go into this as a business properly, you need to learn well. You need to do what is right. Take the paint of jotting down, write the proportion you're using, the ratio you're using, and you're good to go. So we've gotten our cool river and passion, but this is not, oh, it's smelling very nice and tempting like, I just want to wear it now, but no, it's not ready. Okay, it's not that good for your skin. It needs to be diluted. Okay, and that's why we need our alcohol. And we're using methanol. All right, we're using methanol. So we've gotten um, this mixture first. We'll come back to that. Now let's get um, another mixture. Let's get another uh, fragrance, another perfume. Now I'm going to try lemon. I'm going to try lemon. And orange okay so let's say a mixture of lemon orange and maybe passion let's see how it will go oh cool river yeah cool river let's see how it goes so i'm going to use let's just try one of, of lemon one of orange and one of cool river let's see how it goes for lemon one rubber Like I said, I'm using the simplest available means of measurement that anybody can use. Anybody can use anyway. So we've gotten our lemon, so let's get our orange fragrance. Um, same measurement, please. Same measurement. Okay. So that goes into. So let, let me shake. Vigorously and see how this turned out. Mm, okay, I think it's a bit harsh for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit harsh for me. Uh, so let's, let's, let's try adding Cool River and see if uh, we get something different. Okay, cut. Okay, so we have um, the mixture of lemon, cool river, and orange. Okay, we're done with this, and also a mixture of cool river and passion, different proportions. Um, lemon, cool river, orange, we have it one to one to one, so depending on what you want. Okay, and for cool river, passion, I used um, two to three. Two for cool river and three for passion now once we are through with this at this stage the next thing is to add the methanol yes we're going to mix it with methanol like i said methanol and ethanol we have methanol we have ethanol um, but the difference is that one is harsher one is very harsh okay and then um, last longer so methanol lasts longer so i'm going to be using methanol you can choose to use ethanol if you like okay so now for the proportion now this is very important um, I don't know what you want to do if it's for personal use. I'm sure you want it to last longer and even for commercial use. But it depends. When it comes to commercial use, it depends on who your customer is, your target customer. Alright? If your target customers are uh, people that will patronize you by paying well, that will pay well, then you have to do something that, that will last very long. But if that's not the case, you know, we have different levels of individuals. Alright? If that's not the case, you can also do something that you can also get make money from do you understand what i mean is that for personal use or for um to sell to a person maybe wealthy persons and all that you can use one of the fragrance to one for eternal whatever measurement you are using one ratio one one ratio one okay now, you know the cost of whatever it is that you are using, the chemicals you are using, uh, the fragrances you are using, you know the cost in the market. So that will determine how you sell. 
So, but for you to get maximum result, optimum result, you need one for fragrance and uh, one for methanol. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Like I said, okay. Um, so how many of these will get into that? Let's see. As one. So we have three of the fragrance actually. So if we have three of the fragrance, it means we also have three for the methanol. I guess you understand that. Since we use three of the fragrance, we also have three of these same measurements for the methanol. So I will go. I'm doing all this because I'm using this small container. All right, so methanol. One. Two. Right. Okay. And three. So you cover this so that it doesn't um, evaporate. And then it's actually alcohol. And then you have this. So you shake the girl up this like a misper family. Now, this is the mixture or the perfume we've made from mixture of um, cool river, orange, and lemon. Yes, so this is actually ready. It's ready for use. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's see. Mm, okay, so yeah, I like to settle for, for a while. 10 minutes or thereabout. Okay, so that everything will miss thoroughly thoroughly okay so that is that now uh, for the second one we did the same thing so let's look at this we have this container if you look at it it's almost half of it almost half of it so for this i'm also going to use half of this measurement for the methanol like i said you can use two or three but the difference is that one ratio one lasts longer Therefore, business purposes, you want to make your gain. You want to make your gain, and you know your target uh, audience, your customers may not be able to pay for the first one. Then you can go for three ratio one. All right, three ratio. One. So the difference is um, dependent on your customers, the kind of customers that you have. If you live in an area where you know they will pay well for your service, then you can go for one ratio one to last longer. They will appreciate it well. But you know, this is Nigeria, and <laughs> Some persons don't know how to appreciate good things. All right, so one ratio three is fine. You make your money, business continues. But if someone demands, say, ah, it don't, it doesn't last long. Then you can go for one ratio one. Okay, it can stay for days and even weeks. Okay, on your shirt, on your dress. All right, so let's do that. Let's use this container. Oh yeah. And so same for methanol. Same for methanol. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think we have it. And I'll just. All right. So that's it. It's actually as simple as you can see. All right. So thereafter, you can label what you've done. This is mixture of cool river and, pa and uh, passion. You can give it whatever name you like now. Okay. So all the names you have in the market, uh -huh, you can give it your own name. Just have a signature name that you can always do. I can say this is a C two one. Okay, C21 
brother, that's just me. So when somebody says, I like what you're wearing, what's the name? I said, C21. I want to say, okay, I need just what you're wearing now. I can go home and make C21 because I know the proportion I used, I know the fragrances I, I, I combined to get this. All right, so that is it. And so this is a mixture of lemon, orange, and cool river. All right, so when I wear this and someone says, someone says, I like what you're wearing. Yes, I can go home and make something similar without making mistakes. I already have the proportion and I also have um, the combinations I use. All right, so that is it. Welcome back. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, we're finally done with the process of perfume making as you can see okay um now we need to package our products yeah it's ready someone says just like that yeah it's that simple actually okay um we'll package our product now and there are so many means of packaging in the market all right you can get any of the containers um glass containers rubber containers whatever means you want to all right so uh, for me, I'll just make do with this, all right, because it's actually home use. Okay, I just want to use it for myself, all right. So you can make use of this. You can, whatever container you actually need, all right, you make use of it for sale. So I'll just package, you know, how best you want it. So take note of what you're packaging, the products, mm -hmm. all right. Now, um, this is a mixture of cool river and passion. Don't forget, cool river and passion. So. You get your labels and label it if you so desire and especially when you have to sell it whatever you can um, print or what any means whatever it is you need to make your packaging look good all right so for the purpose of this training i'll just make do with this so here it goes and my c21 is ready oh yeah i'm so excited Okay, I have a big container actually. Here you go. Yes. And it's ready. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh. Mm, Alright. This is nice, nice. Uh, maybe I have to call someone to give it a try. Uh, let me call one of my auntie here all right a friend of mine is here and um, i like her to tell us i have a friend here her name is Esty. i'm so excited she's here all right um are you happy here of course I'm happy. <laughs> all right okay so um i'm gonna yeah you did just a little and you tell me what you think mm. i can't get enough of it oh you can hear that she can't get enough of it. Oh, I'm so excited! And actually, you too can be like it. You can become your CEO. You can make just any fragrance, any of any perfume of your choice. All right. So thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Stay tuned to our channel. Bye.